everyone. Welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're visiting Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm in Emperor S4 Game Studio. Next to me is Winnie. She's the event coordinator for Emperor S4 Games. For over the past few years, they brought so many games to Essen. We know we they started with Burano 24, uh, 15. 2015. That's okay. right. And what, what about uh, 16 and 17? So in 2016, we have our um, Hanami Koji, one of our best sellers. And then in 2017, we brought a few more games. We have Shadows in Kyoto, Herbalism, and Mystery of the Temples right here. Cool. Okay. And this year, they're bringing three new games to Essen. One of the game is Realm of Sand, which continues with the mythical Realm of Temples, Mystery of the Temple, right? So I'm really excited about finding out this one. So, Winnie, tell me, what is the story behind Realm of Sand? Okay, so basically, it's in the same magical kingdom as uh, Mystery of the Temples. So you are magicians trying to help the Queen of Ragusa to rebuild her kingdom. Okay, so we're magicians trying to build her kingdom through tiles and cards and victory point, of course, because okay. there's no other way to build a kingdom. Nope, there may be a little magic. Ah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> got it. All right, so how do we play Realm of Sand? Okay, so basically, um, you would have these tiles in front of you, and you put it put it down in your player board. After you put down a few more tiles, you'll start to make a little shape or pattern. And if the pattern sh or shape you have on your board matches one of the cards here, for example, my tiles matches this one, then mm -hmm. I would receive this card and I would remove the, the tiles that I used. And then on this card, there are a few parts of the card. So right here, where's this, there's a little star that's your points. And then in the bottom here is your um, bonuses that you can get. So these are two discs that you can use in the future. And on some of the cards, you have a little hourglass here. So a player, if a player has um, 10 hourglasses, then the game ends. Okay, got it. So uh, when you use these little tiles, they actually get uh, discarded. So you will have to basically the shape on your uh, car will keep changing, right? That's right. That's right. So you keep removing tiles and adding more tiles and trying to make more shapes. Got it. All right. So Winnie, can you tell me a few strategy tips on how to win or be successful at Realm of Sand? Of course. So um, as I said, you get a little bonuses when um, this little disc when you obtain a card. So this disc, you can actually use them. You can put them down on your board instead of putting tiles. So you can put up to three discs anywhere on your board. So that gives you a little more flexibility. And once um, you made a shape and when you have to remove the tiles and the disc, you don't have to put them back to the supply. You just keep them at the side for use next time. Okay, so they stay with you permanently instead of being discarded from, from uh, card to card, right? That's right. Okay. What about um, these level two and level three cards? Okay. So, um, so you really, really want to get like maybe four or at least four of the little discs. So in order to help you to build higher level cards, and we can see that on the level threes you have blues and yellows. Those colors you can only get from level two. So you really want to start with a few level ones and then try to get whatever color you want for level two and then start working on the level threes. If you skip a step, it's going to be a little bit more difficult and maybe a little bit more inefficient. Okay, so to summarize, don't get distracted by the high level cards. Start from the bottom, build your way up so you can steady but slowly but steadily obtain the points. Yes, that's right. Okay, cool. Now I noticed that on one side of your player board, it is there are no special uh, diamond shapes, but on the other side, there are. So, can you tell me a little bit about the differences? Okay, sure. So, um, on the first side where we have just everyone has the same and we don't have any diamond, that's our basic mode. So, if you want to try, after maybe a few games, you can try the advanced mode. So, basically, we have different pay player power powers on each of the boards. So, for example, this um, yellow one, um, when you when you uh, use the power, you can switch out one of your discs for another color. So let's say I have a basic red, and then I can just switch it out for a yellow one. Then I don't have to complete any of the level twos. So that's something you want to think about when you get this board. Okay. So and you have total of six different boards, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and they're all different shapes. So if you want to play the more advanced game, you can, and which make the game a lot more interesting. So I'm really excited about this one. I can see that the uh, cars at first glance look a little bit like Splendor. You have level one, two, and three. But because of the addition of the tiles and player power, it really enri enriches the player experience. So looking forward to trying this one after Essen. Thank you so much, Winnie, for showing me how to win at Realm 
Amos Zen, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.